aerosol particles have essentially twofold influence on climate. They, on one hand, directly scatter or absorb um, solar radiation, but they also act as condensation seeds for clouds and therefore influence the properties and lifetime of clouds. So if we alter the properties and concentrations of aerosol particles in the air, we also have the potential to influence cloudiness and clouds, and therefore the global climate. The IPCC report published in 2007 identified aerosols as important contributors to the global climate. Their net effect was estimated to be with very high certainty uh, cooling, so that aerosol particles have been kind of masking the effect of greenhouse gases during the industrial period. What was also identified was a relatively large uncertainty still related to the actual magnitude of the aerosol effect, particularly the effect that aerosols have had on clouds and uh, therefore the climate. As an aerosol scientist, the IPCC report is of course important to me in terms of helping me put my work um, into the context of the rest of the pieces in the climate puzzle, so to speak, and also to plan my work and reflect it upon the big picture. Um, so this is also an important impact that the IPCC report has, namely serving as basis for not only climate or emission policies, but also science planning and, and policy. It shouldn't naturally be the only document to base science policy on, but it is surely an important one.